go over how to use Excel to do a linear regression and produce a scatter plot along with a trend line. So my data set here is the tuition at LBCC over various years. So I have my years here from the year 2000 to 2006, the tuition in dollars per credit, and then when I have a third column here where I've scaled my data and I'm looking at the years since the year 2000. This will make my equation a little less complicated if I use this for my independent variable rather than 2000, 2001, etc. So I've got my data in a table. I need to select my da data so I can either click and drag or I can click, hold down my shift key and click in the opposite corner to select the data. I'm going to go to insert and then to scatter. I want the unconnected scatter plot showing my data here. Yeah, let me just move it around so it's a little easier to, to look at. And maybe I should make that a little bit smaller. Okay, so along the x-axis I have my year since the year 2000. My y-axis have the tuition in dollars per credit. I really don't need to have that series 1 there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. This makes it a little easier to read. I can add axis titles as always. Here since 2000. Tuition in dollars per credit. Okay. And then we've got my data here. The data is not in a perfectly straight line. We have slow increases, followed by bigger increases, followed by slower increases, followed by bigger increases. And that's pretty normal, but it is exhibiting an overall an upward trend, and it looks like a linear trend, roughly in a straight line, but not exactly in a straight line. So to get the trend line, I'm going to go my option here under Chart Tools. I do have to have the chart selected to have this as an option. If I'm over here, I no longer have that option of inserting a trend line. So I do need to be clicked here on the chart itself in order to have this option. Okay, so these options are only available when you've got a chart. And this is under Chart Tools Layout. So trend line is part of the analysis tools. And I'm going to go down here to more trend line options. Okay, once here, I do want a linear trend line, but I do have other options for an exponential function, logarithmic, polynomial. <laughs> I didn't like that. Let me go back again here. More trend line options. For certain data sets, certain functions aren't going to work. But in this case, I do want linear. And what's important is come down here, click on display equation on chart and display R squared value on chart. Otherwise, we won't have those. And then we can click on Close. And then you can adjust this where it's easy to see. And then we get our equation for the trend line. Y equals 4.5x plus 35.78. The R squared value is 0.965. So we've got a really strong correlation here between the years and the tuition. Um, 4.5 means that on average, our tuition is going up about $4.50 each year. The 35.78, the y-intercept, is the model's prediction for the tuition in the year zero, in the year 2000. Now notice the line is not actually hitting the dot. The dot represents the actual tuition in the year 2000, $38 per credit, whereas the line is representing the tuition in the year 2000 as being $35.78 per credit. So they're not the same. And that's generally going to be true for every dot now well, maybe this one looks like they're pretty close to each other, but in general, the line does not hit the dots. And so we're getting prediction for a particular year, but it's not the exact value for a particular year. It's just the overall trend of the data. And we could use this to make a prediction for a year or two in the future, but it's not a good model to make a prediction very far into the future.